Okay, we're here at the Bits Phoenix uh, uh, meeting room here at Computex Taipei 2010, and a regular here we've got David, and they've got some cool stuff that he's going to talk, uh, tell us about now. If sure I can thing. Speak properly. Um, if you can speak properly, I'll try to speak properly too. Um, hello, Twig Towners. Welcome back to Bit Phoenix. Um, today I want to show you some cool stuff. Um, first of all, here's a prototype. Uh, we're working on a new fan series. These will be called the Spectre Pro fan series. Um, whereas the old Spectre uh, series was very much focused on uh, kind of like lower speed and uh, low noise, uh, this one is all about performance. So they'll be spinning faster. We have new fan blade design, new impeller design. Um, reinforced structure. Uh, the fan blades here, they are, you see they have these ridges to make them stronger. Um, they will not wobble or change their shape just because they're spinning fast. Um, very, very nice uh, cooling results from, um, from um, the test runs so far. Uh, we'll keep on tweaking this for a bit, but we hope to have it out uh, around uh, August, September time after the summer. Um, coupled with this, we are releasing a super cool fan controller thing. And it's called the Bitphoenix Recon. Um, here's a, here's a mock-up of the screen. Uh, the screen will be about this size, but the unit will be two 5.25 inch units in height. Um, Everything is controllable by touch screen. You slide your finger to change fan speeds and so on. Uh, it's got six channels. Every channel has 30 watts. Uh, so that's more than you need for fans, but uh, for water cooling guys, that's nice. You can put a radiator and pump and all that stuff on one channel. Um, now, if that's not enough, um, what we have done is um, we have special firmware and uh, special protocol for our fan controller to talk with the motherboard and once you connect things to the motherboard cool things happen uh, for example you can control your fans through windows okay this looks like it looks like crap i know it's for testing purposes now david this is running this is a web-based interface right so you could run it on any browser or does any it, does browser any operating system linux freaking mac if you want to yeah <clears throat> And, uh, incidentally, also internet-connected devices, like your smartphone. So, yeah, you slide, you set uh, different presets. So, uh, David, this is actually working, right? So, maybe if you... Sure thing. So, well, this is the fan that's connected to, right? It's slowing down. Now, David, how about I come back a little bit, and then you... Oh, even better, let's do it on... Let's do it on the phone, right? Let's do it on the phone. Um, so, I'm just using my web browser on my phone, and here's the kind of the mobile interface, it's a little bit simplified. Uh, you get all the information, thermal information, fan speed information, right now it's set to percentages, but uh, I can also switch to showing RPMs. Uh, these two 1200 RPM fans are the fans inside the Shinobi we have here. Or you can see it as a voltage. Of course, if, if, if you're one of those weird North Americans, you can also switch to Fahrenheit degrees. Sorry, American people. <laughs> Sorry, American people. We love you too. Yes. <laughs> but I, I only understand centigrade myself. Me too. Me too. Uh, and enable or disable automatic uh, thermal control for each channel. And what that means is that uh, you set um, a warning temperature threshold. Right now it's on 210 degrees, so you're probably, hopefully, never going to reach that high. <laughs> yeah. But if you do, uh, the fan on that channel, on that thermal probe, will spin up and spin as fast as it possibly can until the temperature drop below that threshold again. Now, David, now, just before we finish up, there's manual adjustments, right, for the voltage. So maybe we yes. can show them this actually working, and you'll see the fan, hopefully, it's going to... Well, now I'm, I'm doing it in like 5% increments, so it's going to take a while for this fan to start. Okay. Uh, its starting voltage is probably around six to seven volts. Okay. Okay. Now it's it's, it's starting to it's shake starting a to little respond. bit. It's, it's trying. It's trying. But when we reach here, we go. Oh, 5.4. Not so bad. It's a 140 millimeter fan. So, right. so. but you can also enable and uh, disable presets that you set 
in Windows before or on the fan controller unit itself, the touch panel. Mm -hmm. So for example, like I have P1 here that's uh, off zero volt and the fan stops. Mm -hmm. uh, a medium setting, what did I set it to? I set it to 6.4 volts. Yeah. That's like medium speed. Should be around should be around eight or nine hundred RPMs. Let's check. Because this fan 400 RPM? Okay, that's pretty low. But full speed on this one. Yeah, and now it's spinning up, now it's spinning up. Yeah, 1600 RPM. That's maximum for this fan. So yeah, you're folding at home, uh, you're overclocking the crap out of your rig at home, and maybe you're just a little bit worried while you're in school or at work. So, yeah, you check in on your cell phone or your lappy top or uh, your paddy slate and uh, see how things are going. You're not happy with the temperatures at home, you know, uh, you know, spin up the fans and all that until you get home and then you can uh, fine tune things again. Okay. That would be the Big Phoenix Recon. All right, and this is that was David uh, from Computex Type A, uh, 2011, showing us some pretty cool stuff that they're working on and that will come out uh, a little bit later this year. Thank you.